Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome to part 20 of the character modeling tutorial. So before you get confused, let me very quick explain why it is this color now. So just to get myself a bit motivated, I like to color things a bit to, to get a bit better of an impression of how it's going to look like. And this is really nothing else than simple color material and I did some changes on the light setup again with colors just to make it look interesting. So yeah, no need to worry about that. Also now we, that we're at that topic, um, you can also use matcap, which makes it pr look pretty interesting. I think the reason why I like it is because it gives you contrast to the cloth and the hair, and you get a better idea of how it's going to look at the end when you have, you know, it colored maybe, or I don't know. It looks cool to me. Uh, and I like doing this kind of thing. Yeah, anyways, let's continue what we actually... Oh, by the way, uh, just a little detail. I closed the eyes. Um, that's something I did not show in the tutorial. So basically all I did was I selected these two vertices and then I hit F, 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 F and it's going to continue closing this until uh, you reach this point where it creates this triangle because, you know, uh, there's no other way to fill it instead. Yeah, so that's how, how you do that. Um, if you want to close that... We'll get to the face features later on anyways. Um, yeah, but other than that, let's continue with the hair when while well, disabling matte caps again. Um, little final adjustments here to be done. Uh, let's turn off proportional editing and move things around again. By the way, uh, how many of you do you have a 3D printer? I'm kind of interested. If you have one, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know um, how many of the viewers here do have one. I would love to have one myself, but I cannot afford it, unfortunately. And you know, there are some very cheap ones, I know, but I do not really like to spend money on a machine that I wouldn't be very happy with, you know, because the work I do always requires some really amazing amount of detail and that's just too expensive for me anyways um yeah so for the back of the hair i'll start with a new object uh, add a new plane move it to the center with alt g again and edit mode delete all the vertices and add a mirror modifier that's kind of the standard um way for me to start a new object then snap tools face and start and activate this of course we don't need proportion editing again uh, activate clipping and let's start so for now I'll try to follow the line where the hair here is going to start and over here we don't need um, more just so that just go a bit underneath this last part so that those two connect together seamlessly. Something like this should be alright. Just be careful not to go on top of that other part. And that's cool. So because we have now this twin tail design, uh, the hair will from this half and this half will connect together. Uh, so let's start with here one more um, line that connects these two halves together and from here on let's do a little adjustment here as well um, this should look a bit different I think like this it will look better yeah so now uh, deselect clipping and select the entire thing and scale it down uh, of course snapping tool will also get only in your way so disable that and now you can enable it again because now we don't need it anymore and then smooth it a bit to get something like this. Um, we'll have to do lots of um, adjustments here later on, but for now let's not worry about that too much. I'll do another extrusion and with Alt Shift S I'll make it sphere and scale it down. So you see how the, the shape changed? Now the only thing left to do is change, you know, from, from this direction viewed it's a circle. Now from now let's view from the top and rotate it by about forty-five degrees so that 
from this side is a circle, then scale it to zero from the same, and then rotate it back. So that way you have a pretty good circle. Um, let's make a loop here and then smooth it and delete that loop again. That way we uh, reduce the intensity of that action. And then let's see from the reference where the tail starts. So actually I'm going to modify that a little bit in the, from the original design. And this should be good. Now, whatever is going to connect here will be separate parts, so we do not have to worry about this too much. Just use grid fill, and if it doesn't work, it means that you have one loop too much or too less. So let's just add one over here, and now you should be able to grid fill this, um, and you can smooth it as well. It gives just a nice connection here with quads only. Now let's. Uh, add one here and with proportional editing on this time or off in this kind of situation just um, move vertices until you do not see any of um, the head anymore any parts of the head especially here in the center you'll have to just raise this entire line a little bit until you don't see things anymore now you can also add a subdivision surface modifier because we'll have to add that later on anyways. And in case of this artifact, uh, we calculate the normals with control N in edit mode. And you should end up with a result similar to this here. Now, this doesn't look much like hair yet. So, um, by the way, just to keep this uh, the same, I'll add the same material as I have here on here. You know, that's just, you don't need to do that, but now that I've started doing this, I cannot stop it. Okay. You see, I'm now adding some details of the direction uh, the hair goes just by raising and lowering some of the loops. Like this. And of course, be careful about uh, how strong you make that because you can easily overdo it, I believe. And then also, um, let's rip this apart again. Oh, be careful not to select everything, uh, just the middle. And the reason why I do it is so that we can now execute it inwards again. That will give us a nice sharp edge here. So, like this, uh, about like this. Now you see how this is where he um, has this weird zigzag uh, shape, that's actually a good thing, I believe at least, because hair does not start with a straight line and even though this is unwanted or or at least not, um, we didn't um, purposely do this, it looks good and it's kind of cool that it just happens like that without even doing anything. So if you think there is not enough polygons there, just create a loop cut and we'll give you here and on the opposite side um, more detail. In this situation it's not a big problem to add more vertices. And let's add another one here. Let's raise this one a bit and add a loop cut. Maybe let's move it a bit towards here and move it back over here. And 
then let's create this difference in heat again. I wonder why proportional editing is turned on all the time. I, I don't even notice it anymore. I just turn it on and then I wonder why it's suddenly on. And then I have to turn it off again. It's, it's kind of weird. Anyways, see, I just turned it on. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure I wouldn't have noticed if I, if I just continued working and have worn it again. Anyways, <laughs> I just noticed it just now. It was kind of fun. So that's about it, I think. Of course, you can um, do one more thing. Um, that has not much to do with um, modeling necessarily, or it has, but it's not the typical moving around of vortices. So what you can do as well is, you see there is this crease value when you select something, like for example this here, we increase. So you can also access that with Shift E and that will um, give you a better crease here. You can do that on a couple of uh, those lines to, you see these four now have a bit of a more intense crease, yeah, basically to increase that effect. Just be careful not to go too symmetrical about this because I think it will be noticeable if this is too um, similar on the sides. So I'll actually turn this off uh, for, for one of the sides whenever I do this. And then in the end, I'll just reduce it of everything a bit, just so we don't have too sharp edges, because we don't want that as well. Here, for example, this is a bit too sharp. And this here is not good as well. Okay, um, now the last thing to do is to adjust this um, connection here. Basically, with proportion editing, I'll just move that downwards a bit and then do this the, the opposite with the other part to make them go together uh, as good as possible. Let's take this one and make them a bit higher. Yep, so that should do it. Make sure it's good on both sides because you know this part on the back side is mirrored while the one in the front is not. So if if it doesn't match up on both sides, uh, make sure to go back to the first object to do modifications. But that looks quite good to me. I think um, that will work well in the final final work. Yeah, and you can play around with it. I'm going to leave it like this, but feel free to do some more work and don't forget some little... St Actually, let's add those. I will, I will do that as well in this part. So, new object, plane. Um, actually, let's keep the plane this time. Um, let's move the plane up here to the back and add some little strands here, just like this. Okay, so that's of course way too big, but you see, add a subdivision surface mod modifier and make the shading smooth. Delete this plane on the back side that will not see, and then with the entire thing selected, smooth it. And yeah, then adjust it just a little bit like that. And now the only thing left to do is. Uh, make it work somewhere in there. I don't, I'm not sure if this is going to look good, but we'll give it a try. Um, if it turns out bad, we can still delete it. Hmm. I'm not very sure about this right now. 
you know what, um, let's leave this away and we'll get back to it later. If we are at the very end of this tutorial, um, I normally get back to all these details I mentioned and try to just clean up the entire thing and that's one of these things that I might add or I might not um, add at the very end. Yeah, but let's stop worrying too much about this. So this looks weird here in the center, of course, but that's going to be covered by the rest of the hair. And other than that, that's all that I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next part. Thank you for watching.